the late, late 60s and early 70s, the in-group to be in New York, if you were a bohemian or an artist, was the Andy Warhol factory. And as I was involved with all the arts and the creativity of this city, one night I was invited by Jackie Curtis. He brought me in and he was in the dumpiest part of town, not elegant at all, in a dumpy building. When the elevator opened, it was a magical world. Every corner was something different and he had their photographers and artists and drug addicts and society people. Oh, it was fantastic. The electricity that was in there. And the world superstars. Let me tell you, darling, they were pathetic. Some of them didn't know how to dress, but that was not the idea then, to be dressed up. Though they really liked to copy 1940s and 1930s. As I studied in New York in Parsons, I was very knowledgeable about the look and how to impersonate a movie star. So Candy got it. Jackie got it in his own way. He was brilliant. And Holly Lola never got it. Holly Woodland. She's still alive. She's my friend. Andy Warhol, he asked me to be in a film. But as I consider his films sort of tacky. I didn't consider they were going to be hard and now they're going to be, they're still boring today if you look at them. But that's why I wasn't in one of them because I saw him he was tacky in his films and I wanted to do movies with drama, like Carbo, Dietrich. And he was doing things about common people. I didn't want to be that. In the old days, the movies were art, done by artists and professional people. Today, they're done by everybody, and it's like Oscar Wilde said, the books are written by everybody and read by nobody.